So let's just refresh. You'll see that now it'll go up in, uh, oh actually no, we'll have to go ahead and set this to zero and step this at five. Uh, so now you can see that it will go up in increments of five pounds. So starting from nothing and going all the way up to 400 uh, in increments of five pounds. So every time uh, we can only have multiples of five. So that would be useful if you were to say set predefined amounts that you wanted uh, to be used only. Uh, so for example, you know, how much money do you want to donate? Uh, you could maybe reduce this to 100 and step at 10. Uh, so the user has the option of say donating 10, 20, 30, all the way up to 100. So it makes it a lot clearer to actually for the user to um, to define. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't you, you wouldn't use step if you wanted to um, allow any value between two particular values, which at the moment is 1 and 400. So now we're going to take a look at um, changing the slider to uh, a particular range. So at the moment we can only select uh, one value, let's just refresh, we can only sec select one value between 1 and 400. Now what happens if we want to select a range, for example, uh, between a certain amount of pounds and then another uh, button just like this uh, between uh, a higher amount, for example? Well, we can use the range and we can set this to true. Now by default this isn't going to look very nice, um, it's just going to not really work, so nothing's really working. And this is because we need to define the values that we are starting at. So I'm going to define the values, and this is an array of integer, so let's say 0 and 10, or 20 and 40 for example. Uh, when we refresh uh, you can see, oh, we need a comma just after that to separate it. Uh, you can see that we now have between 20 here and 40 here. However, when we move this one, we get the uh, result that we want. When we move this one, uh, you know, it doesn't really look very nice. So we're getting the uh, the value of the absolute value of this first one. Uh, however, this we're getting the other value which we don't want. We want it to say between this and between this. So we need to go ahead and change this value here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all uh, change this to values and then and I'm accessing the first key of these two values. I'm then going to append on 2 and then another pound sign and then I'm going to uh, append on ui.values and you probably guessed accessing key 1. This now represents this first uh, here and this now represents this here. So we've accessed values as opposed to the actual value of it and we're returning uh, both of the values. So now it will be updated to between 19 or 19 and 40 so we could say 1 to 100 and something or we could say 60 to 300 and something for example. So now we're accessing the two points of the slider. So this would be useful uh, as I mentioned earlier in the tutorial for something like uh, defining a price between a price range. So if you were using this on a uh, retail website you might want to only list items between 1 and then 10 pounds. So it's uh, extremely useful uh, in this sense as well. Now we can also look at other types of bars by changing the orientation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and change this back to uh, value. And I'm going to get rid of uh, this pound sign here. And uh, let's go ahead and refresh. So now we've got that. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of values and get rid of range. And I'm going to set the maximum value to 100 and refresh. So now we've got a simple slider with uh, the range between 1 and 100. Now what if I wanted to set the orientation to this to make it a vertical bar? So orientation and in here we define vertical. So there are a few options for this but I'm going to go for vertical here. Uh, remember comma separate that there. When I refresh, aha it's not worked so let's have a look what we've done wrong. Uh, oh okay yeah so I spelled vertical wrong so vertical. Okay, so now you'll see that we've got a vertical bar, and when we go up, you can see that this value changes as well. So we've now got from 1 
to 100. Um, we've created a vertical bar as well. Uh, on the jQuery UI documentation, uh, it shows a volume mixer as an example, which is, a, I guess, a good example of this. Uh, so there's um, obviously practical ap applications to this, uh, depending on what application you are creating. So we've essentially covered the basics of uh, the slider. Uh, there are many more options and obviously more events that you can choose from. However, if you were to say create something like this and you wanted to uh, implement this value into a database, for example, or perform a search query when we had the uh, with the uh, vertical bar or the horizontal bar, sorry, uh, you could easily use this slide function. Uh, or the stop function, we also have a stop function as well. So when the slider has stopped, you could then implement the value into this as well. So let's take a, a uh, look at this quickly. I'm going to create a new event called stop, and I'm going to cr uh, create a function from this, and we're going to alert uh, ui.value. So essentially what you might do here is then implement a value into the database or perform something else when we've stopped uh, when we've stopped scrolling. So now what's going to happen is when I stop scrolling, uh, nothing's happened. And that's because I need event and UI just in there. So we're accessing UI.value. Uh, when I stop scrolling, you see that we have a, a dialog box of 49, which is the position that we've left this at. Uh, this could then be implemented elsewhere. For example, if you were, say, um, allowing a user to scroll with the amount of money, say, they wanted to borrow, you could pass this as a variable onto a next page. Or if it was, for example, uh, I don't know, select your age, uh, it could be anything like that, uh, you would then, on the stop uh, event, you would uh, implement this into the database. Or, uh, again, store it into a session variable. Uh, obviously, the app practical applications of this are uh, limitless. Uh, however, for now, that's just a basic outline uh, and a few of the options and uh, a couple of the events uh, with the slider widget in jQuery UI.